Silas and Elizabeth are married and in love. Their union is the envy of all. Their pastor, Pastor Henry saw a vision where their love and union got deeply tempted. Before he traveled abroad on a missionary journey, he invited them for advice and asked them to pray more and stay close. Something will attempt to go wrong, but fervent prayers can stop it. He traveled finally and the rest will unfold. Let no enemy come between us. Amen. Let the power of the enemy not have any effect on this family whatsoever. Amen. Rulers of darkness, spiritual Amen. wickedness in high and low places. Amen. We come against all of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, anywhere they are planning against this family, whether they are men, women, wherever they may be, Father God, scatter them and their evil plans in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. The word Amen. says that surely they shall gather. Yes, so. Lord, let them gather for their own doom. Amen. Rulers of darkness. Amen. We, against this family, we come against them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. final word is you don't want to go no I don't want to go I want to have this baby here okay but, but listen my dear you, you know what you went through the last time you had a baby when we had Lane you know the, the medical personnel there basically they virtually they, they were the cause of what happened I don't want a repeat of that carelessness again Sweetheart. What happened to me could have happened to anyone, anywhere in the world. Okay? It was an accident. You know we have great doctors here. It was just a careless act. And God has shown us mercy by allowing me to conceive again. And the same God who's made it possible also make it possible for me to have this baby safely here in Nigeria. No stories. Hmm? So right. that's my final word. I'm having this baby here. Besides, I want us to use the money for something else. Something better. Let's save the money. It's okay, my dear. I, mm -hmm. I, I totally agree with you. I, I respect your choice. I mean, it's your choice. I wanted you to go abroad and have the baby, but you say you must have the baby here. That's okay. You're my wife. And so I have to respect your choice. Hmm? Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Many married women today, instead of enduring, are enduring their marriages. They married what they called the wrong man. Many women pray for their husbands to die, for they believe his life is worthless. There is no love. But Elizabeth is different. She married the man she loves. The man that loves her even the more. She calls him 
hero and to her he is everything Oh, Gina, do you think you really need a man to help you stand? My dear, I sincerely do not think so. Yes, sir. I'm in the office. Um, is everything all right? Good. Something came up, okay? I wish to cancel the overseas trip for my wife. What came up, sir? Back up the money we have already spent and no refundable deposit, sir. I don't know how we are going to handle all those. And never mind. Don't worry about the money. I'm not even asking you for a refund. Can I send my secretary to come over and pick her passport? When, will you, when, when can she come? Mm, sir, you don't need to send your secretary to me. It is against the rule of my company, giving travel documents to third parties. I will bring them to you tomorrow, sir. I'm likely going to be in Abuja tomorrow, so um, what about me coming over in the afternoon to get it? Um, okay, in that case, I will bring them to you this evening. Oh, great. Great. Thank you so much, Mrs. Mario. I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. Have a lovely day, sir. Why did you remove your jacket? His name is Mr. Salah Sokocha. He's the CEO of Socha Oil Servicing Company. Mm, he's a married man anyway, with a beautiful daughter. As we speak now, his wife is pregnant. He's a dedicated Christian. Come back for him. Mr. Sokocha is not just a man to be any man. I am telling you about a man I know too well. The beauty of a woman does not move him. There is nothing I have not done to make him look my way. Nothing has happened. He's always talking like a monk. <laughs> my dear, forget about his behavior and intimidation as a monk. If you can get Mr. Kocha to be the man, 
then you should be sure that you have the real man. He's not just a millionaire, but he is a millionaire that spends. Come back here, Mirabel. You know, the labor market is saturated. It is filled with young, fresh graduates who are pushed into that labor market every month. And most of them are not as lucky as you are. Don't allow me to push you back into that labor market again. I'm sorry, sir, but what have I done, sir? This is an oil servicing firm and not an entertainment outfit. Your dress code remains the same as was handed down to you on the day your letter of appointment was given to you. Strictly, official, and corporate. Nothing less. Make sure what happened a couple of minutes ago doesn't repeat itself because if it does, you will regret the consequences. I'm sorry, sir. Good. Hello? Hello? This is Shirley Silas in Quarter of Sasha Limited. Am I right? Yes, you are correct. Who are you speaking, please? That is not a very good way to answer a lady. Can you be more romantic, please? Who are you? And what can I do for you? What do you You're want? You're sounding so mean. You have not even allowed me to say what I want to say. Well, I am just a secret admirer. Someone who loves the maturity you exhibit. Suffice it to say that I have already made up my mind to love you. But as you are sounding this way, um, I guess I'll call you back when you're less tense. No no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, I have to come in here because I, if I allow you to continue, we'll keep prattling like that. Listen to me, please. Tell those who sent you that I'm not that kind of man. And do me a favor, please. Delete my number from your phone contact. So don't call me again. Please. Do you understand that? Why are women becoming more and more desperate and morally bankrupt? Or what may be Kaga yeah. Oh. What do you know what the headmistress said? What did she say? She said the headmistress said that I'll be, I'll be part of the students who will be traveling to England in August. She is impressed with her teachers. Wow. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Most importantly, I'm impressed by you, my little girl. You came tops in your class and top overall. That's really brilliant. You know, Daddy will be so happy with this good news. And he's proud of you, you know that? Good, 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 good. I'm so happy. You really, 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 really make me proud. Hmm? Huh? Hmm, that's good. Okay. Oh, Daddy's calling. <laughs> Hello? Guess what? You know I won't change my mind, so forget it. Stop ranting, please. <laughs> guess what? So what is it you want me to guess? You know I'm not good with that. <laughs> Your daughter, Lynn, is top in her class. And the headmistress has chosen her to be part of the students traveling to the UK for an excursion in August. <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, great. I'm really proud of my daughter. You see? Okay. I'll, I'll buy her something special on my way home. I am very, very sure she's expecting something special from you. Mm? That's great. Um, 
What did you call? Nothing really. I just wanted to hear the voice of my queen and know that she's doing well with my girl. We are very good. Thank you for checking up on us. You're simply the best. No, 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 sweetheart. You are the best. I'm nothing without you. <sighs> You're my hero. I can do absolutely nothing without you. And if I were given the opportunity to choose, I would choose you over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Same here, my love. Same. You are a gift from heaven. I love you. I love you too. All right. Bye bye. Guess what? Daddy said he's buying you something special. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud that you're back. That's not a problem I know it's please sit. <sighs> My friend, we all cannot be merged at the same time. That is what destiny is all about. And besides, you're walking towards that. Have you made use of the contact that I gave to you? I'll be having a business meeting right now and I'm not sure of coming back to this office today. So if you don't mind, you can join me so that when I'm done with all my business activities for today, we can sit down somewhere relaxed and talk about it. You need to give it your time and your best too. is true and again that was me like i said before we are different your luck might be different You are too good for any man to take advantage of you. What have I not done to make him understand me? You see, the moment you try hard for somebody to understand you, that's the moment you realize that you don't need him or her. Tell me, Mr. Kocha, is it a crime to love a man and hope to be loved in return? Lady Marion, come on, pull yourself together. <laughs> He, he doesn't deserve your tears. If he makes you cry, then he doesn't deserve you. Every lady deserves to be adored and pampered by her man. Look at me. Look at me. Age is no longer my friend. All my friends are setting me down and I, and I need to do the same. I, I need him. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's all right. Certainly you need a man, but from all indication, from everything you've just told me, he's not your man. He's not the man for you. I'm, I'm sorry. I was overtaken by my emotions. 
Please forgive me. What was I even thinking? Bothering you with my personal worries. It's all right. Um, you are more like a family friend to my wife and I, so it's nothing. Just, just pull yourself together, okay? Now, how about my application? Can we talk about it now? Oh, yes, oh, of course. I almost forgot why you are here. <laughs> this is it. Oh. Signed and delivered. Thank you. You and your family are already on your way to China. Thank you, Lady Mary. Mm -hmm. You're good. You know you're the best in this business. Really, you are. I also wish to be the best in your bed. That would be an automatic access to your money. Thank you again. All right. Okay, sir. Well, Mrs. Marion, I can see the offer clearly, but can you please explain them further to me? Get out. I'm not interested in your offer. So this meeting is over. Get out of my office. What was all that for? You are special to me. You are this. You are that. Who are you putting up that stupid, shameful act for? Copy of the offer now with me. I'll study it. If I am interested in it in any way, you can be rest assured that I'll be in your office. Good day. that I have not lost one of my most cherished clients. That would be very bad for this agency. Ever since that fateful day at his office, he has refused to take my calls. And we have not even heard from him either. I can afford to not have him as I want but certainly not as a client. Hmm. I don't think. Think. You have to do something to remedy this ugly situation. I've already done that. Mm. I can't help you. I'm sorry. There must be something you can do, my dear. I cannot leave this office without seeing your boss. Not when I'm certain that he's still right there in the office. I'm talking to you. My boss says he has no appointment with you. I therefore cannot see you. What do you expect me to do? Force you in there? Look, madam, I suggest you book an appointment. Then you can come back. It's all right, Mirabel. 
go back to your duty post. I'll take it off from here. Sit down, Lady Marion. I said sit. Or are you here to play your usual pranks again? Sit. full-grown man who understands when a lady is looking for avenues of being close to a man. And this is exactly what you've been displaying lately. You know I'm not cut out for such crap. By seducing me, right? Come on. That would be nice. And that's exactly what I want so that it would be good for everybody concerned. Mrs. Marion, the truth is that your company hasn't given me any cause to look elsewhere. And I believe that you are equally enjoying my patronage. So let's keep it at that. Strictly official, so that this business relationship that I have with you will thrive. Secondly, and most importantly now, I love my wife, and so I have no time for any other woman. Please. All I just told you is a tip of the iceberg. When I realized that I was losing a big client, my dear, I have to act wisely. <laughs> Gina, you and I know that what you just said now is nonsense. Dear, let me tell you something. You can never get enough from one source. You need to keep gathering as much as your hands can reach. Anyway, we are not here to talk about that. Hmm? We are here to talk about how to get to... To. See, you have to give it your time and your best first. You don't have to give up like that. Come on. Gina, I did not say all this to demoralize you. I personally recommended this man to you because I know what he can do for you when you get him on your hook. So try your best because he's going to place you where you desire to be. Is this a curse or something? Why has my life been like this? All my efforts to get a reasonable man to set me up like other girls have failed. Am I not beautiful enough? Look at JC, Anne, Juliet and even Miriam. All my friends that are not as beautiful as I am are all made. 
They were all made by men. What do they have that I don't have? Men even admire me more. Why are they making money from men and men are simply using me for free? There is surely something you are not getting right. Trace and find it before your beauty vanishes. What do you mean, sir? You came highly recommended. I am here because I was told that you can make things work. Why are you disappointed? this man and we had a skeletal discussion over the phone. With the way he handled the phone conversation, he has already shown me the kind of man he is. They say he is a monk. I want something strong that can hold him where I want. I mean something stronger than the monastery. So you are promising me that if this seduction fails, you will grant me the powers of the inner temple of depravity? told me about our daughter's resort is so impressive. Oh, yes. I'm so impressed. Ah, I'm my daughter. I am more than impressed. And I'm you know, I wouldn't spare any expense for her to get the best of education. I would. I'm happy you're sounding this way. I am more than impressed because education is key and if someone in any family shows any trait of brilliance, it is better we pursue that person's dream with every resource we have Absolutely. so that it's actualized. And in this case, it is lame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm oh, happy oh, it's something yeah. like oh, yeah. <laughs> Although I, I'm a bit worried about what Pastor Henry said. Why? Where is your faith? Where is your faith? Things like this shouldn't bother you at all. He has given the prophecy and 
God is on our side. We're praying. When prophecies like this come, it's not as if they're going to happen. It's just for us to be prepared and pray so that it does not happen. So that he has seen it means we already have the victory. Okay? So don't, don't shake. Let it not bother you. God is in control. He will always stand for his own. You know, he says we should call upon him and he is there to answer. And that's what we're doing daily. Well, I, I, I understand. I fully understand. And I'm up on a mother camp. Hmm? A mother camp. Well, I'm always happy when you talk to me like this. It not only calms me down, it comforts and soothes my nerves. I'll forever be grateful to God for giving me a woman like you as a wife. Stop talking like that. What am I here for? What's my job if I don't talk to you and, you know, I'm your helpmate, okay? Well, not all men are as lucky as I am. <laughs> no, look at that. Okay, I just came in and I didn't know where you quickly made this fruit salad. Me too. So men have never tasted anything like this in their houses. Instead, <laughs> the wife would put fire where there's kerosene already leaking. Okay. So, I thank God for you. I thank God for you too. You're my provider. If you didn't provide this, wind, you know, like they say, if you give a woman a house, she'll give you a home. This one is better than home. <laughs> I'm sure you say no because you hardly eat things. to take a taxi. Well, uh, I'm sure expensive taxis won't charge more than 1,000 naira. So here, take a taxi. No, I'm not in the habit of giving a uh, ride to strangers, especially ladies I don't know. What do you want to achieve when you get there? Tina, I fear that I might get myself in trouble if I give you that information. I'm not telling you that, but I don't know why, I don't understand why you want me to give you this. Don't you think this is a little bit extreme? No, don't look at me languidly and don't misunderstand me. I know why I'm saying this. In as much as I want this for you, I do not want to get implicated in any way. Remember that I still have my business to protect. How? No, convince me why I must do this. Why this stuff? Why?
This will certainly do it. I think I have it already. Good. Good afternoon, Hello. madam. Good afternoon. I, I actually came to discuss something with you. What I'm in the same line of business as your husband. And as a senior colleague, I want him to help me. I don't know if you can give me some audience so I could explain better. Uh, I don't know what to say, young lady. You should have gone to my husband's office. I, I don't... Um, I, I don't meddle in his affairs. His business is his business and he doesn't bring work back home. You I really don't know who I'm going to help you with this. You will understand when I'm done explaining. Please. Oh, Lady Marion. Shall we drink to my anticipated success? <laughs> That's for you. Not when I don't even know what you're doing. I hope you have not gone to do something silly. Oh, come on, Lady Marion. Don't be silly. Well, I needed to try another method. Since this monk would have nothing to do with another woman, I needed to try something different. Am I in the question doc for cross-examination? What is this inquisition all about? Let's talk about something else. No. Me to speak, you need to hand me back my jewel. Oh, you wouldn't give back, okay? Well, I have another pack of that juice in there, so I'll go get it very <laughs> soon. Well, to satisfy your curiosity. I went to his house. Yes. And I met with his wife. Are you okay now? No. <laughs> uh, she made me... I think she's someone... You need to help. I believe she needs your help. Let's read the letter. Well, I, I don't know who this person is. She made you believe that she works in the same industry with me, but her name doesn't ring a bell at all. I know. Just read the letter. She made me read that letter as to understand why she needs your help. So please just. Read it.
Well, the truth is that I, I don't know who this person is. I don't know any company called Oronto Vessels Limited. I also don't know any Chief Obono. I don't want to do business with total strangers. You know how these things turn out. What does the Bible instruct about strangers? What does the Bible say about helping strangers? See it as what you're doing. Look, there's no harm in extending a hand of kindness. Okay? Just look at it this way. How would it be if you hear that she went to her church to give a huge testimony about her, how successful her business went because you extended your hand of help, your kindness? Thank you, dear, and it's all for you, your God-given gifts that will last forever. Mm. And that is why I get down on my knees every day, thanking God. I cannot ask for more. Yeah, sure. Mm. <laughs> um, you didn't give me a definite answer to what we talked about yesterday. Definite answer to what? Gina's request, the letter you read. Oh, that. I don't know why you are insisting on me helping this girl. I don't know her. I don't see why. You don't have to help her, but you know more blessings come from just, you know, throwing favors to people who cannot repay. <sighs> this Gina girl must be so smart that she had to go through somebody that I can't say no to, and that's you. So, is that a yes? Yes, because yes. You're, you're practically forcing me to. Yeah. Mm, sorry. Thank you. Thank yes. you so much. Lynn! Daddy's ready to take you to school. Now she's asking me to go because I've granted her request. A fool of a woman. <laughs> Dad, good morning. Mom, I'm ready. Morning, oh, darling. Oh, sweetie. I know. How are you? So, well, let's chop, go. chop. Let's go. Get the number from that letter and then call the client, ask her to see me today. Because suddenly she has turned your solicitor and advocate. I'm doing this just because of her. Can you remove your glasses, please? Who are you? And what do you want? Don't push me, because you wouldn't like my next line of action. Leave my office. You have no business to discuss. I know your likes. You are a scammer. I'm ashamed of you. A beautiful girl like you to get involved in such, in such dubious business. Leave my office right now. Get out!
Hello, darling. How are you? Uh, darling, before you elect to stand in the gap for someone, please try and understand that person. Spend some time with that person. Are you serious? What did she do? What happened? Now, I'll brief you when I get back home. But just in case she comes there, please don't give her any attention. I believe that she was sent by some people. So the sooner you give her little or no attention, the better for us all. Wow. Okay. I'll do what you have said. I'm sorry. All right. What on earth did she do? Nobody is born a bitch. Men are the ones that turn babes to bitches. Silas the monk. You just turned me into a bitch. you to use your powers to make this work. I left the picture there and I'm very certain that he will see it. I need this man. I want him. I mean, this man is made. He is the only person that can help me to start up my life. And if it works, to the bottle is picked. Gina, what happened to your phone? This is not funny, Gina. Do you realize that I was almost leaving before you came in? I have called you several, you don't take your calls. Then I have to come over here. You have been totally unavailable lately. You don't pick my calls, you don't even call me, you don't visit. And look at you, girl. You look messed up. I hope this is not about Silas. Why do you laugh? Gina. Anyway. 
way, I'm not surprised you talk like this. Because there's no other person that can be more unreasonable like you. Gina. You don't have to be like this. You know what I'm talking about. You know it. contact we're talking about and you know that I wouldn't do if I don't mean well I did not make a mistake giving her this address. I even went as far as giving her the house address. And now she's acting up. And won't even as little as brief me on her progress. Hey! I hope that I have not made a treble mistake. See, I'm perfectly okay. Let's just go back to work. Anyway, I think I should get going now since you're not in the mood of talking.
Hello. Hello. Can I speak with Gina? Yes. This is Gina. Who am I talking with? I'm sorry. As I speak to you now, I'm looking at your picture and wondering why I had to order a beautiful lady like you to leave my office. Please come back. Don't say no. Please. Well, I'm sorry, my dear. I'm home already. I can't come back to your office. Um, my place is very far from your office. Oh, distance is not a problem. Just give me the address. I'll be there. I can't let today end without seeing your beautiful face again. Okay, just um, give me some minutes, I'll call you back. I, I showed them the SMS you sent me and then they directed me here. It's as simple as that. Thank you. Oh. 
So what do I offer you? something very important okay and don't keep calling like a school kid running my battery down I won't tell you this again what is wrong with you are you okay this is someone like you you're not talking as if it's you ah, what makes you think that I don't sound like myself huh? please give me some space you to spend the night here. Maybe go back into the room and do something. <laughs> I doubt if I'll ever be tired of you. You are the true definition of a right man. Well, it won't be too much asking to have you all to myself. Well, I feel the same way, my dear. But, <laughs> I just have to go. Why?
the best woman in the world. You have really made my day. You know, you are still too young to understand anything, but you should be in bed by now, okay? Now go to bed. Hmm? Good night. Okay. you allow a child to be awake by this time? What are you hoping to achieve? What? Silas, I have this feeling that something is not going on well with your business. Why don't we talk about it? I'm your wife. We can pray about it. There's nothing prayer can must fix. No, 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 so no, 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 no. Listen to me, Elizabeth. I am fine and my business is doing great. Okay? I have so much on my mind and there's so much I need to do tonight. So if you don't mind, give me some space. Cut me some slack. We used to be happy together. Our home was filled with love and laughter. In the mighty name of Jesus, Every plan of the enemy to bring discord between my husband and I will not stand in the name of Jesus. Every plan to break this home will not stand in the name of Jesus. The Lord God will, will, <clears throat> the Lord God will keep this family standing in the name of Jesus. Every divination, every enchantment concerning this family will not stand. You shall come in one way, but in several ways you will flee. Every plan from the evil one concerning this family, concerning my husband, concerning his business, Concerning my child will not have, will not will, will not work in the name of Jesus. I break your plans. I shatter it by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, every plan of the enemy will not work in the name of Jesus. The Lord will seal this family in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, oh Lord God, I soak my family members. I soak my husband in the blood. I soak my daughter in the blood. I soak every hey, Jesus. I warned you in this house to be careful. This is my house. This is where I prepare all my business plans and proposals. So I demand 100% concentration in this house. If you must pray, then go back to your father's house and pray there. Do you hear me? Silence. You slapped me because I was praying your pregnant wife. This is simple instruction. My even down by your mom, boy, I don't know. Jesus, this is what Pastor Henry saw. This is what he saw. Oh, God. Who are these evil people and what do they want from us? What do they want? Oh God, Jesus. Jesus, come and fight for me. <laughs> Dad, good morning. Won't you have your breakfast before you leave? Breakfast? Your breakfast is poison. Don't serve me again. Okay, Lynn, follow your daddy. Don't even try that. Don't try it. 
Daddy, you don't take me to school. If your mommy doesn't want to take you to school, stay there. It's an hour. There's, there's nothing wrong with daddy. He's just having um, um, some stress at work. Okay, mom. Would you take me to school? Of course, I'll take you to school. Let me get the car keys. Well, what is it, Mirabel? Oh, of course, but I've already told you not to keep her waiting. It's all right. Let her come in. have this impression that you are a troublemaker. Do you want to see the real me? <laughs> but I can't help it, but thank God for giving me someone like yeah. you. I'm sorry to bother you, it's just that something came up. Lean eventually didn't go to school today again and I'm not happy about it. Person. You of all people know that. I got ready to take her to school, but the car wouldn't start because the battery has run down. I called a taxi to take us to school, but before the taxi got here, it was already late for her to go to school, so I didn't bother. Please, the only thing I called to tell you is just for you to buy a battery when you're coming back from work, or at least send someone from the office to do it. What do you even contribute to my life? I tell you straight away, you are a burden. Very brilliant. Just try. Don't do this to me. Please tell me. What is okay. it? Okay. Why okay. all the excitement? Yours truly, 
is now the regional marketing head southeast i've been promoted <laughs> This is not good for us. Oh. This is not good for us, my dear. You're not happy for me? You don't... It's good news. Please don't misunderstand me. Okay? You know, we are trying to build a family. I don't want anything to come between us. But that's, that's my worry. Sweetheart, nothing can ever come between us. My, are you insinuating my job will come between us? It can't. My family comes first. You come first. So no, let it not worry you. My work can't, can't come between us. You, you know I have never really liked this idea of you working. Oh. I can cater for my family. You see, I, I want a quiet wife that I can love all my life. With this job, you won't be that quiet life that I want to have around all the time. Silas, Silas. It's me you're talking about. It's me we're talking about here. I made first class in marketing. I went to the best university in this country. I am in hot demand. I don't, I don't get it. Are you trying to tell me that you want me to pocket my certificate and sit at home as a full-time housewife just making babies? Honey, what is it that you cannot do for me? I don't want this job. Okay? We're trying to build a family. And, see... My, my company has the capacity to grow and be bigger than what they are offering you. Our family is much more of importance to us than all this. That's what I want you to understand. I never said you've not been praying. Meaning, if you've been praying for 30 minutes, now pray for her. That the love between you and your wife had attracted envy from evil dwellers who gathered in secret places to reap where they never sowed. That's five million naira. I hope it will be enough for the business. Okay. Well, your happiness is the only thing that counts to me now. I want to do everything to make sure you're smiling. I'm glad. I'm glad you are. Uh -huh. Are you still interested in that worry business? I can give them a call if you want. They will do something once they know I'm involved. You see? <laughs> this is why I say that you, you are better than that evil woman that I married. She's the reason I'm still on this level. I would have gone far, far, far. If I had someone like you as a wife. No, no, don't mention it. You don't mention it. You are the light that brightens my path. And I'm glad I met you. Seriously.
inviting my friend to my office has suddenly become urging her around. And by that you mean? Gina be able to have a seat? Okay, first off, what can I offer this? Gina, I want to believe that you're putting up all this attitude to amuse me. Come on, what is that? Are you okay? Are you alright? I know that you have been talking with this man. The other day I was in your house when he called. So, why are you keeping me in the dark? Why do I have this? Why is she this elusive lately? And why do I have this feeling that she is up to something nasty? China. you're the beginning and the end. I thank you because you're my creator, you're my father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name forevermore in Jesus' name. Father, oh Lord God, at this point, I continue to lift my husband into your hands, oh Lord God. Father, I ask, oh God, that your hand will continually rest upon him. Father, you said in your word that you have the heart of kings in your heart, in your hand, and you turn them which way it pleases you. Father, oh Lord God, turn his heart to face you. Turn his heart to please you and do your will. Father, let him do, oh Lord God, according to your will, all that you have designed and planned for his life, oh God. Father, oh Lord God, make his pathway straight, oh Lord God, every crooked way straight. Let him walk in your will and in your way, in the name of Jesus. You are awesome. You are awesome. There is no one like you. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name forevermore. Awesome God, mighty God, I give you praise. Awesome God, I give you praise. Mighty God, you I want this man. 
I want him to be mine. I want him to marry me. I know all that. I know he has a wife. But this temple should have the powers to make a man throw out his wife and marry someone who has already humbled herself as a believer to this temple. Why are you telling me about it? I already have the exact man I want. I want him to throw her out and marry me. That is what I want. And that is what I should have as someone who is obedient to this temple. I refuse to accept that position, sir. She is clinging onto this man, and that could change things for me. I want her out. Find a way to throw her out of his life. That is what I want, and that is what you would do for me. If it will expose me to living Lucifer, I am ready to face her. The only thing I am going to say to you is that there is a way forward. But I want to ask you an important question that I want you to answer me sincerely. How prepared are you? Grant, your master already told me that there is nothing he can do for me. I came back to you because you have shown me that you possess some powers. And I know that you are a businessman. Don't say some powers and give me the impression that you underestimate me. That is not good. I am a man that possesses serious powers. And there is something you need to know about Kranz. He is a man that wines and dines with the Lord of Darkness. Kranz has slept with Lady Lucifer not once, not twice, but countless number of times. He is a man that controls enormous powers, but he is being very careful because the Lord of Darkness can kill at the slightest provocation and I believe he doesn't want to die. But the truth is that he can do all things if he decides. So what are you saying exactly? That I should go back to Grant? That is not possible. I already told you that he said he cannot do anything for me. He wants me to leave that woman alone, and that is very unacceptable by me. I came to give you this. What you see here is an apostle. The contents may look like sand, but it is no longer sand. That is the very apostle that will do the magic for you. And what am I supposed to do with this? Spread it. Along the path, you are sure that she is going to pass. Your problem with that woman is that she prays too much. And she believes that all things are possible with prayers. Such, such women are very, very dangerous in the metaphysical world. 
you spread this thing along the path that she's going to use and this will make her pray less. When she's praying less, then we can manipulate the man. Let me tell you something. Unless men are manipulated, they hardly cease to love their wives. <laughs> so how am I supposed to use this apostle of yours? Because I want him to leave her and marry me. You have to spread it across the path that you know she is going to use. On it. Let her just walk past this and, and everything shall be emptied into her. And when that is done, the loss of the metaphysical world will take over. They don't disappoint. So what happens if I spread it and someone else walks across it? That is not a problem. Any other person can step on it. Any other person can cross it. Even you yourself, in the process of spreading it, you can actually step on it. It is not going to be a problem because it is specifically made for her, Elizabeth. Her name, her soul, her body, her spirit, everything. They are already caged in that metaphysical entity you are holding. Let her walk past it and you are going to see what is going to happen. I have done it for several women in the past and it never disappointed. <laughs> Come back and give me a result when you are done. Set with me where he is now. Why would you say that, my dear? You know, um, he. When Silas came to marry me, he never liked the idea. He didn't like the idea. He said there was something about Silas he didn't trust. He went further to tell me to hold on for a while, let him pray about it, but I refused. From the look of things, Uncle, my father might just be right because Silas is proving him right. I know from your statement that all is not well between you and your husband. Hmm? Talk to me. Trust me. Hmm? It looks as if everything my dad feared about Silas is what's happening. I'm not sure about it, but I have a feeling Silas is keeping another woman somewhere. Come and see me tomorrow. I'll be home all day. She's heavily pregnant, my lord. She cannot risk the long journey. I'm suggesting we go and see her tomorrow. Please. You know about this? Yes. She called me first, and I asked her to call you. You know you trained her through the university. She had a father quite right, but you are the father she has. My dear, she's going through a terrible time, and I think we should do something. Uh, uh, hello? Um, uh, don't worry, I, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you very much. God bless you. Salas is gradually destroying my life. No, my dear. Huh? And women like you are in short supply. Refuse to be destroyed. Okay? Tomorrow is bigger than today or yesterday. Okay. Um, I will call you back. Alright?
Do you really think we have to go and see her? From the way she sounded, we have no choice. I may not be able to go with you, but I think you should go and see her. Please. You must remember the rules. I was set free from the consciousness of rules the very moment I was excommunicated. You may be excommunicated quite all right, but the powers you wear still belong to us, and you must act accordingly. Please, let us get it straight. I am not under any obligation to listen to anybody or to obey any rules. I am my own master now. I set up my own rules, and I follow my own rules. I don't even know why you invited me here. Because your greed for money is so much. And that is why you were pushed away from your brethren. You love money so much. Remember what the Holy Book says. That the love for money is the root of all evil. I can't believe this. You, Grant. You who slept with Lady Lucifer to the best of my knowledge. You who wine and dine with all the evil powers in the metaphysical world. You had one preaching to me, telling me about the holy books. Is it the kind of joke or what? I may not have the leniency to warn you again. That woman you wish to hurt because of that ingrate is innocent. And you cannot continue with what you want to do. You said it already. No problem. That I, I am greedy. That I love money so much. It is my business, not yours, sir. Her being innocent is standing between my money and I. And now I have made up my mind to go all out and hit my money. That's what I want to do. Go out and hit my money. Okay? Go ahead then. I only wanted to be sure you know exactly what you're doing. And it is done to me that you know what you are doing. Go ahead and satisfy your vanity and lust. Do you know what, sir? Please, le le let me just make it clear. Leave me alone. I am no longer a member of your temple. I am now an authority unto myself. Concentrate in your own temple and allow me to live my life. Do not monitor me again. Cut off the link, please.
Hi. Hi. Oh, Gina, right? Very correct. How are you? I'm doing fine. You're looking so good in your pregnancy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come inside. Um, I actually got you some things. They're in the car. Really? Yes. Could you please come help me? It's just my little way of saying thank you for what Aww. your husband did for me. Thank you very much. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Are you... are you alright? I don't know. I feel as if... something just left me. Um, uh, that's scary. But I don't understand that. I don't even understand what I just said. It's just the way I feel. Um, you know what? Oh. Don't bother yourself. I'm sorry for even asking you to come and help me. It's okay. Worry, it's just... okay. I can still... I can no, still... no, no. It's okay. Go in. I'll handle it. I'll bring it all in. Okay. Okay? All right. You're sure you're fine? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I wasn't really expecting anything from you at all. I was shocked when I saw those things. Thank you. Thank you don't need to thank me. In fact, I should be the one thanking you. Regardless of the fact that you do not know me, you still decided to assist me. I will forever remain grateful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I am so glad that my little help put a smile on somebody's face. Hmm? But I'm, I'm shocked. My husband didn't even mention that he ended up assisting you. Um, it's possible he believes that what he did was nothing. But none of this would have been possible if he did not come in. Thank you. I can't wait to share the testimony with him. He'll be so, so happy that he did something good for someone. And it will encourage him to help other people. Um, I would prefer you keep this to yourself. Why? From the little I know, he is not the kind of man that would want to be praised for anything he does. I came simply to tell you that I am not an ingrate. I would appreciate it if you allowed this testimony to end with you. Please do not mention it to the boss. If you say so, only because you begged. If not, my, I know I, I, I can't keep my lips. <laughs> I can't keep such things from, from him. I wish I could. Is he the one you're calling? Yes. He's not picking my calls. I want to tell him not to bother buying fruits, that we have fruits in the house. Okay, um, maybe he's busy. I pity him. He has so much work to do in that office. My husband is not too busy for me. He can never be too busy for me. No matter how tight his schedule is, he always finds time to call me every now and then. But in recent times, I don't know what has come over him. He doesn't even pick my calls. Sorry to bother you, my issues. I shouldn't be. No, no. I shouldn't be stressing you or telling me things about me. It's okay. Excuse me, my phone. Hello. Hello, Gina. I hope you'll find time for me tonight. I'd like to spend the night with you. Um. It's okay. It's you that says what will happen. Whatever you say stands. In that case, I'll see you tonight. My wife is beginning to give me stress so much so that I want to take a break from her. Um, it would be better if we talk about that when we see. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. 
baby, you are simply the best. And I love you. I'll be on my way soon, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, I will have to leave now. Business. But you didn't finish your fruit. No, <laughs> next time. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let me walk you to the door. What's the matter with you? Huh? Why won't you allow me to concentrate in my own office? Why? Silas, Silas, what is this now? What is this? Why are you treating me as if I'm a nobody? What is wrong? That's exactly what you are. Nothing. Listen, you are disturbing my life. And I'm pleading with you to leave me alone. Leave me alone, woman. Silas, this is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, your wife. I'm your wife. Hey, shut up. Keep, shut up over there. Ah. Silas. Look what I am. The problem with that woman is that she prays too much and she believes that all things are possible with prayers. Such, such women are very, very dangerous in the metaphysical world. You spread this thing along the path that she's going to use and this will make her pray less. When she's praying less, then we can manipulate the man. Let me tell you something. Unless men are manipulated, they hardly cease to love their wives. It looks like you're thinking about something. What is it? Um, I'm, I'm thinking about life without you. It's really going to be tough for me. How can you be thinking about life without me when I'm lying here with you? <laughs> See, listen, my dear, we, we have a life together. That is what should be occupying your thoughts. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm, I'm here with you all the time. Oh! Why wouldn't this witch allow me some peace? Huh? Why? Look, 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 look. If you continue like this, I'll be forced to unleash her on you. Give me, give, give me a break. Allow me some time to rest. What horror can you unleash on your daughter and I that you already have not unleashed? Eh? Silas is 11. It's past 11. And the family man is yet to come back to his house. You know in the deepest part of your heart that you are doing something wrong. Are you not a fool to call me and talk about what is wrong and right? Eh? What the hell do you know about wrong and right? Please, I will say this again. Don't call my number again, okay? Wait, wait. Tell us, where are you? God will punish you there. Good Mom, what are you Mom, do you know we have not been praying like we used to pray? Did you just see that? 
You know what I'm saying, man? We have a problem, and prayer will solve this problem. Exactly what Pastor Henry saw. I wasn't praying enough. And I don't know why something is... Well, Nana, I'm not sure what you Okay, okay. Thank God I have someone like you. In fact, you are the very epitome, the personification of peace. I'm glad I have you. This isn't you. I keep praying that you become the man I married. Get out. I said get up and get out of this room. Right now! Why? Don't let me track you up. Get out!
there's still time. Can you wait with you? Any breakfast, I know how to go about it. Okay? Wait, wait. I got a call from the headmistress. So? What was my business about that? I got a call because other students who were supposed to who are supposed to go to the UK for the excursion and pay their own three hundred thousand now. I see. Well, if you want your daughter to join her colleagues to UK, fine. Pay them the money. I don't have it. You know something? You are such a pest. I don't even know how on earth I ended up with you, a big burden, as a wife. I don't know. Sellers, please, please, sellers. Were you not the one that told me to stop working? What is this? Call me! Were you not the one that told me to stop working? You told me to stop working. You know I made a first class in marketing. And I was doing well as a marketing manager. Then you told me to stop. You were the one that told me to stop working. Will you stop all these lectures? Because I'm not down with it. Stop! You're not down with it? Oh yes, I'm not. Not at all. Sellers, it, it is very obvious you now hate me. And I don't know why. I have never disobeyed you. Neither have I ever offended you in any way. What, what, what is all this? Eh? What have I done to deserve this? I am not talking to you or begging for anything for myself. I'm just talking about your daughter. Do something, let her travel with her mates. That's all. Hello, darling. Hello, my dear. Where are you? Are you not coming again? I've been waiting for you for the past 20 minutes. No, no, no please. Um... Don't be, don't be, don't be angry. Just give me one minute, one minute. You see what you have cost? You see what you are costing? Don't you ever, ever stand in my way again. I will. Don't. Um, I, I'm already on my way. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll be with you in a jiffy. Hmm? All right. My dear, show me. I'm actually already on my way. All right. Silas. Silas, what did you, okay, you didn't buy the battery. How am I going to be using that car? Won't you at least drop your, your daughter in school? Mm. Are you not going to drop your daughter in school? Oh, so now she's my daughter. She's not your daughter, right? Well, if you won't drop her in school, get her not alone ever.
I am a minister of the Most High God, called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I am telling you what I am saying. The time is coming, and the time is almost so close when you shall get so down that you won't have money to even fuel your car. And I'm telling you what you have to do. You must find every reason possible to get rid of that woman you call your wife. You must send her back in. Because even that girl you call your daughter, she's not yours. This, the only way forward is for you to get rid of that woman that you have as your wife. That child she's carrying is not yours. The same people that offered her job that is bigger than her are still working. Even since she stopped going to them in line with your instruction, they are still seen. They are still sleeping together. Let me tell you something. That daughter of yours and that child in her womb, they are not yours. That woman has been manipulating you. And the climax of that manipulation is that she is going to turn you into a beggar. Oh my God. Um, maybe you haven't been giving her enough. The most important thing is that you now know the woman you have been living with. The future of a man is the most important part of his life. Now that you know what the future holds for you if you continue to stick with that woman, I only expect you to do the right thing. Hello, sir. There is a man here that said he came from Enugu. He said his name is Mbadiwe of Enugu and he's your wife's uncle. And he's here to see you. Okay, hold on, he wants to speak to you. Don't know his voice. It was the one I called and the person you spoke with. Hmm. 
I don't know the answer to give to you. The only thing I know is that my boss is no longer the man I used to know. He has changed. I don't know what is wrong with him. I know you are a gentleman. Promise me in your honor that you will handle this matter as a gentleman. With strong sense of decorum, payday and maturity. Just tell me that is what you are going to do. Listen, listen. My office is a place we can transform into anything at any point in time. I am a businessman. Just come up with any line of action and leave me to perfect it. That's what I do. Do you know what? Just come up with any line of action and leave me to perfect it. That is what I do. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to do? I will call you back later this night so we can discuss in greater details. You know? <laughs> the beautiful woman that knows the value of Zion. Talk to me. Listen to me. The only problem we are going to have is if that woman is still praying. Because prayers has damaging effect on our metaphysical sacramentals. Whatever we can generate from the seven books can be destroyed by prayers. But if that woman is no longer praying, then I can assure you that we are going to throw her out. That is my job. You don't have any problem. Using the seven books to manipulate the physical. I have done it for some women in the past that paid me good money. And I'm going to do it for you. Always at your service. Anytime, any day. One thing you should never try again in this house is to answer me with a question. I ask you again, where are you coming from? Silence, I want to pick your daughter from this school. <laughs> mm, Elizabeth, you must think I'm a fool. You must think I'm a big fool. You must consider me a fool. It's a couple of minutes. To 5 p.m. Lane closes around 1 in the afternoon. So tell me, where have you been? I went to see my former boss. I told him, I called him and he said I should come over to his office. Your former boss? 
you went to see your former boss. Who is your former boss? Mr. Donald Roberts, director of Danger Beverages. I called him. I told him about my daughter's predicament. I told him with a, I told him she was to pay three hundred thousand naira, and I didn't have any how or anywhere to raise it from. So he gave it to me. He wrote me a check for five hundred thousand naira. Oh, oh, so it is true. It is true you have been sleeping around now, eh? Now listen to me, and listen very well, I give you 10 minutes, just 10 minutes, to leave this house. If I come back and meet you here again, we have to join you. I'm going to check in now, wait, I'm going to check in now, wait, I'm going to check in now, wait, I'm going to All I will say is that you have to relax here. I listened to him when his secretary called him from his office, and all he wanted was very clear to me. Wipe your tears, my dear. I want you to understand one thing. He does not deserve a woman like you. Uncle, the most painful part is he denied his daughter and his unborn child. That is to tell you he's a fool, a big fool. Mm. Your father is no more, but I am your father. This is your home. You can stay here for as long as you want. I know that God takes care of his own people. That's exactly what I told her. Silas and Quacha is not your God. He stopped you from using a certificate and he turned around to call you a lazy woman. Ne. Just wipe your tears. God is watching. I never thought this kind of thing would happen to me. I don't want to leave my husband. I can't. That doesn't mean you should stay with a lunatic. A lunatic who can raise his hands and beat a pregnant woman. My dear, I don't know why you want this case to end without any arrest or possibly prosecution. We don't have to get to his own level. We don't have to descend to his level. I want posterity to judge him. Wipe your tears, my dear. Don't worry. And I don't know why something is wrong. Wow. I love this place. I mean, the furnishing is near perfect. It shows that you have prevailing class. Thanks for the compliment. It's like the same thing I said about your apartment. It shows you have class too. But seriously, you know. I want you to stop calling this place my house. It is our house. You see, the evil woman who blindfolded me into loving her without asking questions is gone now. You are the one I have. <clears throat> That's very romantic. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I owe everything to you, you know. You are amazing. And I will always love you. And what could you possibly define as love? Love cannot easily be defined, really. Um, several authorities have tried to define love, but the one I find appealing is the one defined by one Ubrezo. Okay, but I don't think I've heard his own definition of love. He says, love is a seed planted without plan. It will always grow when nurtured with truth. <clears throat> really? Yeah. I don't see why you would like that kind of definition. You don't like it? Um, 
I think we should just forget about Gezu and his headache. I think we should concentrate more on ourselves. <laughs> well, here we are. We have the time in the whole world to discuss about ourselves. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> I want to hear that rubbish you just said. Don't dare me. I said I want to hear that rubbish you just said. been listening to. I am disappointed in you. Oh yes, I am disappointed. You see, I should have listened to my wife who said that you're like a time bomb waiting to explode. Now finally, you have exploded. But I tell you something, Mirabel. You, and only you, will bear the consequences of that explosion. I don't know about that, but you are fired. You are sacked. You are relieved of your responsibilities here. I'll pay you whatever your entitlements are before the close of business today. Now leave. Well, you heard it coming. You had it coming. I said you are fired and you remain fired. I'm not like some of these men who go back on their words. I say it and it stays the way it is. You are fired. Now get up and leave my office right now. Don't come back. business of yours is it? I pay you well, I keep you employed, and yet you put your, your interests where they shouldn't be. I call the sack letter or go Nanya. This is incredible. How did you do it? I hope you are not insinuating that you are more beautiful than I am. Because I showed this man beauty, and he was never moved. Tell me, are you sure there's nothing else involved?
This is so fast to be ordinary. What has she done to this man? going on? Why are you the one taking his calls? Because I have his phone with me now. Are you telling me that you seized his number from him? And what do you expect? That I should still leave this number with him so that desperate ladies like you who have been trying to seduce my man continue to try the love, isn't it? No way, my dear lady man. I am wiser now. You will call him back when I am with him take your call in my presence. If you don't mind, I am driving. Hello? There is nothing she or anyone can tell me to convince me that this is ordinary. No. Gina. Are you sure you heard him well? I did. He said his wife told him I was like a time bomb waiting to explode. He said I finally exploded. And he fired me for telling him the truth. I have never, ever discussed you with him. I'm sure he came up with that reason just to get rid of you. It has nothing to do with me. Can you please talk to him for me? The last three years I worked with him, I was practically the energy behind our sources. Firing me is not good for the business. Speak with Mr. Silas Ukocha, please. Who is it? Um, tell him it's a family call from Inugupu. He has to take this call. Well, I am his wife. You can talk to me. What's the problem? Hello? Now I understand why he decided to throw me out. He has another woman waiting in the wings. Where did I go wrong? What did I do that made Silas hate me like this? You said when you called me, a lady picked up the phone. What's the problem with that? Lady Mary, listen to me. You have no right, absolutely no right to talk to me about my woman. Get out. You heard me. Get out of my office right now. If you don't, I won't be held responsible for whatever happens to you here. Get up and leave! And don't come back here again. This is, this is what I hate about people. They won't mind their own businesses. The Anitina and Anifana was on fire. In Azale, we gang. No, no, no. I 
can swear on my life that something is wrong. If I did not know Mr. Kwacha before now, then maybe I would not have bothered. But I knew him very well. He could not have fallen this hard for Gina. Mm -mm. Something is wrong somewhere, and Gina alone knows about it. You don't know anybody by that name? Lady Marion? Yeah, Lady Marion. I've never heard of that name before. Who was she? Well, she was at my office earlier today. And why does my husband look bothered with her visit? No, not at all. It's just that she says she knows you. What? She claims to know me? That's right. From where? I mean, how? Well, I didn't allow her to say all the rubbish she was going to say about you, so don't bother with that. But my love, why would you allow such a nosy woman into your office in the first place? Come on, dear. I told you she was my travel agent. She said when she called my number, a lady answered, so that got her curious. Imagine. A travel agent indeed. Obviously, she has no job to do. A woman picked your call and so what? You know what, darling? My instinct tells me that that woman wants you. <laughs> why would she want me? I mean, why would she be bothered with who picks or not picks your call? Well, you don't need to bother about it, but, but that, you know, I'm, I'm a, a guy with a gentle disposition and People get attracted to me even when I don't have anything to do with them. Don't let it bother you, okay? Yeah. Well, I'm not bothered, but you will do me a favor. Okay. Disengage yourself from her services immediately. Oh, you don't need to ask that favor. I already took that decision the moment she started saying crap about you, so as far as I'm concerned, she is history. Better. <sighs> My darling. Happy now? Of course, I'm just surprised by a lady who I didn't know. She knows me. I'm just surprised. Well, things <laughs> happen. Please. Uh, uh, so, why don't you take your drink now? Mother, I did not come this far just to drink. When I called and you told me that you are here in Enugugu, honestly, I did not believe it. Lady Marion, we have come a long way. Hmm? I'm, I'm ashamed of where I am anyway, but it's okay. Honestly, <sighs> I understand. I'm even thanking you for allowing me to come at least to see you. <laughs> it has only proved one thing to me that I have a place in your heart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. I don't want to go back to remembering the things I have decided to forget. I'm very sorry about that. I'm very sorry. No, don't bother yourself. You don't need to be. Why are you here anyway? Madam, there is something deeply wrong in your family, and that is why you are back here. <sighs> Lady Marion, I just begged you not to remind me of some things I've chosen to forget. You're still doing it. You see, I think I know who is behind this. Yes. I don't know what she did, but I am sure. I am sure she knows what is happening between you and your husband. Um, I knew there was a woman in that house because I called and a woman picked the phone. She had the cause to, to speak to you? I never knew this girl can even hurt a fly. Oh, 
Well, you have to. You have to believe it because it is happening right before your eyes. <laughs> Look. She came to me for financial help. I directed her to Mr. Silas knowing how nice he is. Little do I know that she could go this far with her desperation. I'm truly sorry, it's my fault. Don't blame yourself because anyone to be blamed but Silas. If someone had told me in my wildest dream that Silas will look another woman's way, even if the woman was stuck naked in front of him, I don't think he would. Look at it. There must be a way out of this. And I am willing to help. I am willing to help. Because I am seriously sure that Mr. Salas is under some devilish influence. Yes. The only thing I can say to you is that your timing is perfect. Had it been you didn't mention her name to me by the time you did, maybe we would have... Whatever she's planning is very dangerous and you have to do whatever that is within your powers to stop her. Unfortunately, I am already in the bad books of all the lords of the metaphysical world. They all see me as the disobedient apostle. I don't want to drag my luck too far. I cannot kill. I can only manipulate. I am very serious. I have done my part by exposing her actions and thoughts to you. If you want to go to the extra and eliminate her like you said, permanently, you have to figure out a way and do it yourself. Marion, <laughs> thank you for coming and welcome to my humble abode. Come in.
Tina. What is wrong with Tina? How could a woman do this to another woman? I blame myself for this. Oh, come on, Mario. Relax. Have a look. <laughs> mm. Don't tell me you're going to stand all true. Are you rejecting my drink? Gina, you did not come in here just to give me a glass of juice, did you? You are a friend that holds in high esteem. You cannot make me hate you. Gina, this is the very definition of wickedness. You mean you skimmed a woman out of her matrimonial home and came in to assume her position as the woman of the house? Why are you such a terrible friend? I only called you here to say a big thank you for the contact you give to me. And not for you to rain abuses on me. Do you ever think of tomorrow? Do you think of future when you do some certain things? I still don't know why I'm having this funny feeling that you are going to expose me and rock my boat. Why are you giving me the impression that you are not happy with me? And with what I have achieved? Gina, you still have time to make amends. What God has joined together, let no Gina, no man, put us under. You have used your evil powers to put us under a thriving marriage. And I ask you, do you think these things you're doing have no repercussions? People like you are the reason I go all the way to seal my trust. Oh, Maria, you are a bad loser. Accept it and don't force me to make you pay. Gina, are you out of your mind? You don't have to call me a loser because I was never dragging anything with you. The point was just for you to make this man give the money to establish yourself. You went beyond that by destroying another woman's home. And I must be very frank with you. Posterity must be very harsh on you. And where do you think you were going to? And where would I go? What will I be doing here? And who says you can leave? China. You have a gun? When did you start carrying guns? You are the only one who knows my little secret. And I know you can't keep it. But I will make you keep it. You know, don't do this. <laughs> My dear Valentina, don't you think that is an insult? Well, if that is what you mean, I can see sense in your nonsense. Yeah, but I am different from others, like you said, because I am a man who believes in reality. I mind my business. Well, my business makes me meet many people every day. I don't know. Well, I am a building contractor. I have a lot of building sites I visit on a daily basis in this town. It is possible you may have seen me in one of the sites, but the truth is that I've never seen you before. I 
am not the one. I don't know him. I don't get it. Because I don't know him. No, I don't, I don't know. I don't, are you expecting me to open up on a man, a total stranger, on my exact line of business just because he came here to say he's a CEO of one company? Is that the way you operate? No, 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 no. That man that just left here now could be a froster. And I'm not going to play into the hands of frosters. Now you are beginning to speak again like someone that sleeps on my bed. As if you have brain inside that you thick head. <laughs> Make another order. But seriously, you weren't expecting me to just tell him what I do for a living. Can you justify that? Can you believe that? Do you know you? You don't say he's a CEO. No, he's a CEO. He's a CEO. Wait a minute, Gina. Um, I want to get you straight. Are you trying to insinuate that I don't know what I'm saying? My love, I didn't say that. But there's some things you just cannot say. How can you tell me that you saw my spiritual director in a bar drinking with a girl? My, that is my, not my possible. My dear, I am telling you the gospel on this truth. He is the one that I saw. You know what? Let's save this cock and bull story. We should talk about the money. All right. It's okay. I'm going to talk about the money. But first, I want to make this your spiritual director. Oh, come on, Silas. Don't be ridiculous. We can't just go seeing the spiritual director without making an appointment. Okay. Fine. Let's give it a try. Okay? Let's get there first. If we fail to see him, I'll know he's not the one that I saw. What are you up to? You don't trust me anymore? Listen, don't, don't try to confuse me with too many questions and, and, and begging the issue. What I'm saying is that I want to meet that your spiritual director. And I want to meet him now. Now! The only thing I see clearly is that your future is very bright. I see you emerge as the new minister for petroleum resources in this country. It is already confirmed in the spirit, waiting for us to do everything humanly possible so that the manifestation is not delayed. It is it is done already. Already it is done. What we have to do is to banish all the spirits that cause delay into Bermuda tribe where they belong. The earlier you make money available for me to increase myself in all the spiritual exercises that must take place before it happens, the better for you and your wife. Of course, I know more about that. complex has a drinking place behind it. Yes, yes, I know. Let us get something clear here. I don't drink alcohol because I just cannot drink alcohol. I don't know what you're asking me about a bar. I have never been to the bar. Yes, I know the bar, but I've never been there. I think it, 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 is, it is not right for us to engage ourselves in frivolities. 
I would rather we concentrate on that that will give us gain. If you can make three million naira available for me, I am going to create the metaphysical sacramentals that will see you emerge as the minister of petroleum resources in this country. Should I go into hiding in this town just because I'm working for you? You are not the only lady I work for. What's your problem? That is not the point. You have to be careful wherever you go. I mean, you almost ruined everything for me today. Listen, I was enjoying myself with a babe that I found. How in this world will I know that your husband of all people come to that kind of place? Suddenly I saw him coming. He was there. And I, I played along when he confronted me. And from the way he sounded when he came to my office with you, it is clear he's not suspecting anything. Whatever. Just be careful with how you operate in this town. I mean, I don't want you to ruin this business for me with your loose life. Don't do it. Um, I have told you that I am married now. And I have a family. I can't keep spending money on endless jewels. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, yes, look for someone else to buy. Uh, uh, do you know what? I will call you back, okay? Thank you very much. And send me well to the family. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't want to disturb you. I had to come down here to take this call. Well, I, I overheard you talking about jewelries and how you are not interested in them. And I was just wondering who that was and what that was all about. Um, yes, one of my old friends. She said she had some expensive jewelry to sell to me. I needed to take care of it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you are so amazing. Oh. <laughs> and I bless the day I met you. And I bless the day I met you too. I'm having this feeling that there's something about you you haven't told me. Something like what? Like what you do for a living and who you really are. Honestly, I don't believe the crap you told me about being a distributor and spiritual canvas and all that. I don't. I don't understand why, why you are telling me this. Why, why would you believe? Why? Well, the kind of money you spend. That kind of money is beyond the kind of business that you do. Really? Yes. Don't look at me like that. Look at me like I don't know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm a true friend, okay? I just want to know you more. That's it. I want to know you. Should I tell you the truth, Valentina? Yes, please. You are beginning to get on my nerves big time. And you must be very careful. 
don't force me to show you the ugly side of me. Because I will kill you in the process of it. And if I kill you, there will be no cops in the world. What? Be very careful. I can't believe this. Did you just say that? Can you be this mean? Don't push it. Okay? Just enjoy what you can enjoy now that I am here. Don't force me to kill you. You don't know me as you say. You don't know me. But you won't like me. Be very careful. How does it concern you? I'm sorry. So, I'm sure you had a nice time too. It's sure. <laughs> I'll just finish up with this and then we'll go inside. Uh, I'll just finish up with this and then we'll go inside. My name is in a hurry to go inside. <laughs> well, what do you need you didn't want to carry? talking to him. By the way of Enuwuku, he said it is urgent. Right. Yes? Why did you call my number? Wait, 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 wait. Hold it right there. Did you actually call this number to insult me? Listen, mbadi way or whatever you call yourself. First of all, mind your language and don't call this number again. You hear me? So what business of mine is that? What business of mine is that? The little girl she has with her is not even my daughter. Not to talk about the baby boy or, 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 or whatever you say she, she just delivered now. So, I'm telling you, let her know that I'm not responsible. She, she can call anybody, her friends, her cohorts, whatever. And for you, I warn you, don't call this number again because if you do, I'll send the police after you. I'll make sure you end up in jail. Um, darling, I think the best thing for us to do is to turn off this phone permanently. I don't want those people to be getting through to us. No, 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 no. I, I, I get a lot of important calls on this line. Are you possibly doubting what I'm saying? Turn off this phone so we could be sure that our family is safe. Adima. Adima. If that's what you want, okay. Take it. You know the best. You get two foot, two foot. I don't want you to have anything to do with a woman who almost ruined your life. Oh, you can be rest assured that I wouldn't. See, I will never, I will never allow anything to come between you and I. <laughs> Darling, <laughs> that is so sweet. This is the best thing I've heard today. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um. Father, I commit this family to your hands. Amen. You know their problem. Amen. And I hand over the family to your able hand to cleansing their problems. Amen. Every evil forces against this family. I break loose every shackle. Hold 
holding them anywhere by whatever chamber, whatever robe, whatever thread. I cast them bind. I break you loose. I cast them bind. I break you loose. Wherever you are coming from, wherever the force is coming from, I bind in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen
Your boss, of course, Mr. Silas Mkocha. at the time. Did you just say your boss is a woman? Ah, since when? Did Mr. Salas go to hand over to someone else or what? Come on. I know this stuff is like the back of my hand. A few months in Europe cannot confuse me. Ah, this is the office of Social Oil Servicing Company owned by Mr. Salas and Kocha. Yes, since I returned from UK, I've not been able to get Salas on phone. And now his office is taken over by somebody else. Yes. Okay, okay. You know what? I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Thank you. Somebody should have just come to the house. You know I hate discussing business at all. I came here because that's the last option I have. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Keneze, the business-minded individual. Please make yourself comfortable. Sit yeah. down. Thank you very much. And uh, welcome to my, my humble abode. <laughs> now, what do I offer you? I'm in the house of the king. Whatever he offers me, I will accept. <laughs> Where is Madame and the... Hello, baby. Oh, hi. I'm here. I've been looking for you. Mm, I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, um... Oh, we have a guest. Yes. My long-time friend. Mm -hmm. Business partner. Chief. Kenetuku. Oh. Eze. Chief. Jena. Oh, Chief. You're most welcome to our humble abode. Thank you, Gina. <laughs> well, well, why don't you get us something to drink? You know, something for men. Of course, baby. I will. <laughs> Excuse me, Chief. Who is this? Where is your wife? My wife? Yes. She just went to get you a drink. Come on, Silas. You know who I'm talking about. Your wife, Elizabeth. Oh, people. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anything. Welcome to you. Hmm. He's just uh, he's uh, a bit overwhelmed. By <laughs> what you said and what you are probably going to say will not mean anything to me, Chief. Why don't you calm down and hear me out? As far as I'm concerned, nothing has gone wrong yet. Oh yes, everything is wrong. You sold your office. You are now having an office in a rented facility. You destroyed your business line. As if that is not enough, you send your pregnant wife away. I mean, that is unthinkable. Chief, will you calm down and hear me out? What else do you have to say? You have said it all. I mean, everything is not clear to me. Silas, you need help. Something is wrong and you need help. Will you stand there and tell me that something is wrong and I need help? I will say that over and over again. Do you know the number of business partners you are going to lose with this your action? Eh? I mean... Oh, Kenneze. Kenneze, this is my private life. And I will not stand here for you to interfere. Oh, oh yes. Life yes, it all is. Right. All right. Okay, that's all. I'm going to tell you right here and now. My company is going to withdraw their partnership with your company. Yes, you know what I mean. Because I'm not ready to invest with it. Thank you, man. 
Cotton Bank Chief. It, it hasn't come to that yet. Salas has come to that. I am not going to invest in your company anymore. If you are ready for business, you know where to get to. Uh, Chief, we are no. Hey. Uh, Baby, if I tell you that I like that man, then I am a liar. I mean, did you see the way he looked at me as if I... Jenna, what you worry about has no bearing to the present situation. It has no bearing at all to the problem. You did not just say that, did you? I am telling you that I detest the way that man looked at me and you think it's nothing? That man has threatened to withdraw his partnership with my company. And that's a big problem. And why would he do that? Who is he anyways? He is somebody that we cannot afford to lose. That is why I am worried. That is why I am helpless. What is the problem? Did you breach a contract you have with him? No. No, not at all. He wants me to bring things back to how they were before. And that includes taking back my former wife into my life. Never. Over my dead body. I mean, why would he say that? I mean, who is he to tell you how to run your domestic life? And I hope for your own good you're not thinking of that. Confusion. I'm a confused man now, baby. I don't even know why all these things are happening to me at this time. I don't know why. Hey. Which is where my What is happening here is that we are trying to keep you safe. That man that came here today is nothing but an enemy. If not, he wouldn't have suggested that rubbish to you. My sincere advice to you is that you stay away from that man. Have nothing to do with him anymore. And that is exactly what you are going to do. Okay? And I don't know why Something is wrong It's not the way we As far as I'm concerned, Grant is a fool. My allegiance is no longer with him and can never be. He failed to deliver when it mattered the most. My allegiance is to Zion. He made it happen and he is the one I believe. to talk to you like a sister. Do whatsoever you want to do with that man, but please do not tamper with his source of income. I listened to you and I heard everything. 
I understood everything clearly. But I believe there must be another way around it. You know, ever since I started working for women, I have never seen anyone as complicated, as wicked, and as ambitious as you are. Why is it so? Talking about the cars, right? I remember that. You know, I will get in my chambers and there might be something Zion can do for you. And you know yourself that you don't have any right to call me. You have no reason to invoke me here because it is against the rules of this brotherhood. Why did you do it? For as long as you're using the powers of the temple, we have to look out for you. And that is what I'm trying to do. Please, Grant, what else do you have to say? Because I will do What do you have to say? I didn't excommunicate myself. You did excommunicate me because you said I wasn't a good person of this brotherhood. So why are you suddenly seeing me as one of the important agents? I don't think you are this foolish. Why dig your own grave with your own hands by going against the rule of the secret world? Listen, that is how I survive. By soiling my hands. By manipulating the books. I will not clear on this yet, are we not? Zion, I want you to leave that woman's life alone. Leave that woman alone. Why are you suddenly sounding like a saint? When we all know you have the darkest of hearts. Why? Why? Once again, the rules. We cannot fight anything that is clean. That woman you fight is clean. And you know this. Oh, Grant, please spare me, spare me the preaching. This is my game. And I'm playing this game to the very best of my ability. Please, allow me. Let me be, please. And um, in the meantime, I, I want to tell you that um, I am going to become Russia with two cars, two exotic cars, state-of-the-art cars. I will give you one and go with one because I am not greedy. I am only generous. But please, allow me to play my game, please. Zion! Zion! The coin has two sides. And we are the makers of the third side.
Mr. Zion. Gina, Gina. Mr. Zion. <laughs> you know, I can see it clearly that something good has happened. Has it not always been like that since I met you? <laughs> <laughs> I have known nothing but joy since our paths crossed. And for that, I am grateful for. That is good to hear. <laughs> good to hear. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> well, here are the papers to the cars. Wow. You know what to do with them. Gina, you have done your part. Leave the rest to me. <laughs> so, I have made money. I mean, real money. What I have now, I cannot spend in my whole life. <laughs> and that particular story cannot be told without mentioning your name. But the game, the game from the beginning was to make you the queen of riches. <laughs> Is that not the game? Jeez. I did not anticipate it this way. Sion, I am talking about hundreds of millions of Naira. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 this is for you. Wow. <laughs> 15 million Naira for me? <laughs> wow. I am very positive. This is just a tip of the iceberg. It's amazing. <laughs> How did you do it? Silas, <laughs> I have him right here in my palms. I play him the way I want. Wow. Well, I made him transfer all his funds into my bank account. And as I speak, he is fully dependent on me. <laughs> what I give, he takes. <laughs> God, I'm not smiling at all. <laughs> the Gina that I know. Yes. <laughs> I am in charge. Silas has become my toy. And so shall it be for a long time to come. <laughs> this is take that. Go and spoil yourself. I mean, take good care of yourself. And when your pocket runs dry, do not fail to come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Zion, Zion. Zion, Zion. Inasu <laughs> puto. Lady Marion murdered, frozen, and dumped in the bush. And up till now, the police hasn't even arrested anybody. This is not good for the image of our police. Not at all. <clears throat> hmm. Do you know this lady personally? Of course. She was my travel agent for so many years. Arranged my tickets. Hotels, you know, sightseeing. She she was giving me total package at good discount. She was a very good woman. And why do I have this feeling that you were sleeping with this woman? She naked me. Hey, Gina. Of all things. What you, you, you think about is sex. I mean, I'm just talking based on your action. You're mourning this lady as if she was your girlfriend and I'm not comfortable with that. Who knows what crime she committed that brought about her death. Are you now saying that Anybody who got killed must have committed a crime or done something to warrant the death? Okay. 
the song at the top. What are you doing here? Aren't you at least going to let me into the house, our house? Let you into which house? Oh. Okay. I actually came to discuss something with you. What I'm in the same line of business as your husband. And as a senior colleague, I want him to help me. I don't know if you can give me some audience so I could explain better. Is this you? Gina. Gina. So, it is you. I'm doing everything possible to understand what you are doing in my house. What do you want? What? Her house? Silas. You, you, you heard her. Don't you remember her? This lady, Gina came to me. She was the one who came to me, begged me to beg you to assist her. It's Gina now. Have you forgotten? You're a fool. You're a fool. She asked you a question which you haven't answered up till now. Let me repeat that question. What are you doing here? Simple. <laughs> Jesus. Silas, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what Pastor Henry told us? <laughs> Let us cut this crap and go in. And for you, go home. Leave us alone. Go home and rest. Let's go in. I'm sure you heard her. Hmm? I'm sure you heard her. So, if you know what's good for you, if you don't want me to push you and the baby away, quietly leave this place. And let me warn you for the final time, don't ever set your feet here. You heard me? You heard me? Don't set your feet here again. You heard me. Now leave. Go home. Sheba, boy. He said you should go. Why? Because this house has become vulnerable. That woman has access to this house and I will not allow my husband to be easily assessed by that evil woman. Banov. Gina, wait. Hold, hold on. Why are you insisting that I dispose of all the property I have, I acquired, before I married you? Why? Why are you asking useless questions? We are doing away with all these things because they have a link to that evil woman. Moreover, what is wrong with getting new things? Even the Bible says that all things shall pass away and all things shall become new. You saw the office already. We got a new one that they cannot access. The same thing will happen in this house. We are going to sell it and get a new one that they cannot access. Is that clear? Hmm. I just hear me and call for more now. Stop looking around, I've made my point already.
Listen. There's something you need to understand. This office is affiliated with the police. And there's no week we don't submit our operations to the police for vetting. Okay? Those cars are bought with the name of um, Silas and Kocha. And they are all duly registered. Do you know? His signature is in, the, in all the documents in the licensing office. Now, if we are going to change the cars to your name, that means you will have to sign the change of ownership. And that's why I invited him to come. He's a hustler in this town. You know, many people believe he's one of the psychics that manipulates people by using the what's it called? The seven books of Moses. You know, many people believe he can actually do everything, and some other people fear him. I am a minister of the Most High God, called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I am telling you what I am saying. The time is coming, and the time is almost so close, when you shall get so down that you won't have money to even free your car. The truth is, I see Zion as a scam. Now I have reason to believe that it's you. You are one and the same person. No, 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 let me add to the number. Please, is there a way you can call your husband to order? I am a minister of God, called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I don't know this one you've been seeing that looks like me. Because it can't be me. It can't. And please, stop associating me with negative. Who are you and what are you doing in my office? Who? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to claim you don't know me? Of course I don't know you. You don't know me. I don't know who you are. Listen, I am a minister of God. Called into the prophetic minister of the New Testament. As you can see, I am in the middle of administration here. And I, I don't want distractions. You are distracting me. If you want to see me, please, go outside and wait for your turn. Please, you believe us now. You are to come with us to the station for questioning. Why? What, what's your name? Didn't you hear what I told you, your friend? I am a man of God, called into the prophetic ministry of the New Testament. I don't know what you mean by questioning me. What, what, what's your name, please? What are you talking about? We are trying to make this operation as safe as possible. Do not push us. Stand up.
a man of God that was guiding you from the destruction of an evil woman. Someone I told you is my spiritual director. Imuma. Relax. Relax, my dear. What I did was your own good. Was in your own interest. It's your own good. Allow the police to investigate this matter. Who knows? We may have been doling out scarce resources, cash, to a scammer. Oh, come on, Silas. Don't give me that crap. I mean, if not for this man's administration, you would have been a dead man by now. That which you married would have sent you to an early grave. Now, pick up your phone and undo all you did. This man was working, working hard to make you the next Minister of Petroleum Resources in this country. My dear, now that you have done this, it will not be possible since you have detailed police officers investigating him. It won't be possible anymore. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Why? Are you holding brief for this man? I am not holding any brief for anybody. I am telling you the truth that concerns us as a family. Silas, shove the police off that man's back so he could do his best for us. Did you understand what he explained? Your fingerprints that we took are found in the documents. It follows naturally that you are the one that gave him the documents. Why are you denying? When you refer to yourself as a minister of God, is it the same as using the seven books of Moses to manipulate people all in the name of prophecy? You said to the man that you're a building contractor, can you please refer us to the houses you built?
me to make all the money I can make and that I should leave the woman alone. You have to do all you can to help me. Please. I can pay anything. They have arrested Zion now. And they are questioning him right now. I just want you to seal his lips so that he doesn't mention my name. Please. Sir, I don't think you heard what I said. I said I would pay just anything. Just just seal his mouth so he doesn't mention my name at all. Please, there is still one more thing remaining for sale. And I'm planning on getting that done this week. My chances of selling that property may be ruined if he mentions my name. Please. Please, Sir Grant. Let's not go into all that right now. I am in a mess as we speak. I will lose everything if you do nothing for me. All I want you to do is just to seal his lips so that he doesn't mention my name. Please, I really need you to do this for me. Please. The Soviet is lying. I'm going to detain him. He's not leaving you until he tells me what I want to hear. Disobedience is a vice that cannot be tolerated anywhere. I told her to leave that woman alone. She disobeyed me. She underestimated the powers of this temple by going to meet a man who has been excommunicated by order to do what I asked her never to do. I am calling for a total reversal. Let those who see find, and let those who found leave with what they have found. Let this status quo be maintained. Let this status quo be maintained. <laughs> My love and my life.
Where am I? Huh? Where am I? Where is this place? What am I doing here? Where is my wife, Elizabeth? Whose apartment is this? my wife Elizabeth baby who is your baby my wife where is my wife Elizabeth I should calm down I'm calm now. I'm calm. Don't you dare come near me. Come near me. I don't know you. Who are paying you money? Who are they? It has cleared from his eyes. He is not asking questions like someone who has regained his senses. that to happen. You shouldn't have allowed him to regain his senses when I told you I still have one more property to sell. Please help me. You are my last hope. I'm begging you, please. I think you should leave now, sir. How dare you talk to me like that? Those who put you in this office, they are the ones constituting nuisance. How can you talk to me like that? Don't you even realize that I own this place? I own this property. Oh, you think it's funny? 
think it's funny. Now call your boss so that I can get things cleared out immediately. You see? You see, now I know that you all are fraudsters. How can I, Silas Watcher, sell this property to you people? Now call them before I do something drastic right now. Get them on phone or bring them out. Let me, let me speak with them. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, until, I, until, I, yes, until I see your bosses. Let them, let them come so we can talk. I, I don't, I don't understand why you don't seem to remember that. I mean, you sold that house because the evil woman was coming around to bother us. Who are they us? And who is the evil woman? My love, you have to calm down. This is who you have become. And you have been happy like this. My office. Do you know what has happened to my office? Nothing happened to it. You equally have the papers to the rented office space there with you. So it is true. Eh? It's true. My office has changed as well. Eh? some things straight. My name is Silas Water of uh, Suchas Oil Services Company Limited. I'm looking for my secretary, Mirabel. Um, she was once my secretary, actually. Oh my God! Oh my God! She told you. Oh, listen, my brother. A lot of things went wrong. Really, so many things went wrong. I'm now trying to see how I can right the wrongs. See, that's why I'm looking for her. Where is she? Oh my God. She's out of the country. Do you have her number? And I don't know why 
Something is wrong It's not the way we used to be Something is I was the one you called Yes, I was the one you spoke to I am the property manager for the owner of this house and I'm sorry, you no longer have access to this facility. Can I have it? Olga? Yes? When was the last time you even came here? Can you remember? Your rent expired two months ago. I only collected this paper just to make sure that somehow you've not renewed your rent. You know the right number to call when Something I is wrong. It's not the way we use I should be telling you that. You hear me? I should be the one telling you that. You locked me out of my apartment. Now you're telling me to do things the right way. Talking about right and wrong. Honestly, this is more than I can understand. I tried getting in touch with you when we discovered the discrepancy in your account, but your line was unavailable. I would advise you to get a loan since you need the money urgently. But are you sure of getting the collaterals? I came here because I know you will come. Gina, why didn't you mention to me that you were the one that killed Lady Mary? Why? Someone saw you when you dropped her remains in the bush and reported to the police. That is the main case against you now. What I did is nothing because I didn't force anyone to give me money. They were paying me money on their own. Where is Grant?
this is Mr. Silas Mbocha speaking. How may I be of help to you? I don't know why a police officer is calling me. I am with my pastor, please. I can't possibly figure out why you are inviting me to your office, but I am in a meltdown right now. My wife Elizabeth is nowhere to be found, and that's my main concern right now. This is the woman you married for six months. Do you remember her? This lady, Gina came to me. She was the one who came to me, begged me to beg you to assist her. It's Gina now. Have you forgotten? Know that nothing I will say now will make any sense to you, sir, but please hear me out. You see, I was manipulated by evil people who were envious of the love I have for my wife. I didn't know what I was doing. Believe me. You know what? Get up. Please hear me out. I love my wife. I love Elizabeth. She knows it. She knows that I love her even more than my own life. It's just that I didn't know what came over me. I didn't know what happened. I'm here to reconcile with her. Do you ever recall what you did? Someone who has a first class, you forced her into becoming a housewife. Hmm? Starved her of funds. And when she went to ask for favor to help your own daughter, you had the effrontery of accusing her of infidelity. You wanted to post her life. But you finally post your own life because of your wickedness. Well, thank God, my Elizabeth has moved on with her life. Huh? Thank God. Hey! Hey, phone. Hey, phone, mom. Let it not be that Elizabeth has gone ahead and married another man. That will be the end of life for me. That will finish me completely. Uh. Uh. 
My dear Elizabeth, you are now a fulfilled woman. Forget his wickedness and move on. Okay? Auntie, I don't understand which side you and Uncle are on. You're supposed to be on my side. No, we are definitely on your side. But it's not about taking sides. It's about doing the right thing. Was he thinking about doing the right thing when he did what he did to me? What would have happened to the children and I if not for you and Uncle? Elizabeth, I've always loved you. Because you're intelligent and very sensible. Now, tell me. Does it look like your husband Auntie, did... please! Auntie, please! I beg in the name of God. Do not refer to Silas as my husband. He's not my husband. I don't have a husband. His name is Silas. And if we must continue this discussion, please refer to him as Silas and not my husband. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. But what I was asking was, does it look like Silas did what he did with his senses intact? That is his problem and not mine, auntie. It is his problem, not mine. He made his choice the moment he decided to treat me like an outsider and an animal. That is the way it's going to be. I have nothing to do with him. He is not my husband and will never be. So please, if we do not have any other thing to discuss, Auntie, let's change the topic or... My dear. I don't know what else to say. My dear, since he chased you away and you returned back to us, I know how many men that have come seeking for your hand in marriage. And you rejected and all of them. And that is because I do not want to have anything to do with any other man, Auntie. For crying out loud, do you know what I went through in the hands of Silas? He was the only man I loved. I sacrificed every single thing for him, even my career, and he ended up betraying me. How in God's name will I be involved with another man? Elizabeth, God forbid you lie. You rejected all the men that came seeking for your hand in marriage, including the prince of our town, Enugoku. The reason you did that was because somewhere in your heart, you still have Silas hiding. Think about it. I know Silas was a fool, but now he's normal again. Please, think about it. Mommy, mommy. Yes, what is it? Mama said we will go back to daddy. Why would she tell you that? I didn't tell her that. Mommy, but I miss daddy. I want us to go back. My dear, you, me and your brother are enough family for you, okay? You don't need Silas. But you see, my brother looks like my father. Let us go back to him. I wish she can understand the extent of the damage her father did to us. How can a man deny his family, beat his pregnant wife and deny his unborn child? I wish my little girl would understand that there is no way, no way I will allow Silas back into her lives ever again. you